high-profile Afghan MP has been recalling her hostage ordeal at the hands of the Taliban, illustrating the lack of progress for women's rights ahead of next year's anticipated pullout of NATO troops. Fariba Mahmadi Kaka and her children were traveling from southern Gandahar province to Kabul, the Afghan capital, on the 15th of August when armed militants on motorbikes forced them off the main highway. Her kidnappers drove her to at least 13 homes, made her sleep on the ground and kept asking where she had been and who she knew. After negotiations, she was released on the 8th of September in exchange for a number of prisoners. It was the first case of a female member of parliament being abducted. Hers is just one of a number of recent cases of attacks on high-profile women. Two of Hellman's top female police officers have been shot dead since July, and a senator was wounded in an assassination attempt which killed her daughter. The Afghan MP explains what needs to be done. These days, it is the women who are the targets. Some time back, a female senator was shot and then I was kidnapped. And maybe this will continue. I just request from the government and the Taliban that we're all Afghans, we're all a family. They have to make peace and talk with each other and stop killing their brothers. A conference organized to discuss women's rights took place on Thursday, where many spoke about being a woman in today's Afghanistan. Hatifa Habibi, a school teacher, explained how her journey to work is plagued with danger. The situation is so bad that one cannot even say anything about it. When we go to our jobs, security-wise, we're not hopeful at all about making it back home alive. The Taliban have become notorious for their treatment of women and that this kidnapping shows that the attitudes have not changed. Women's right activist Dr. Shukriya Sivrut says that the violence against women is not unusual. Every week we witness two or three killings. Violence against women is still happening and the culprits are not being punished. That is why in every corner of this country they kill women and continue the violence against women. In May, Afghan lawmakers blocked added measures to secure the 2009 law called the Elimination of Violence Against Women Act because it was deemed to be un-Islamic. This has created uncertainty about the future of Afghanistan's women ahead of next year's presidential election.